general thoughts? Uh, it was a good scrimmage. Uh, we didn't have a, a kicking scrimmage. We did all our kick stuff yesterday. Uh, got some move the ball segments, uh, which I felt uh, defense won two out of the three. Uh, red zone offense was outstanding. Seven touchdowns down in the red zone. They, they were on fire. All three groups, all the quarterbacks produced down there. Uh, the two minute segment, uh, the defense won all three of those. As the four minute segment, the defense won those. Uh, the backed up segment from the minus one, offense won two of the three. So just like our entire camp, there's been great give and take, uh, good physicality. Uh, didn't seem to be a lot of uh, errors and penalties, although we did have one high snap there at the end of the deal with the threes. Um, but uh, all in all, good scrimmage to wrap up a good camp. Uh, we're going to evaluate this one hard, just like we have all of our practices. And uh, when we start on Tuesday, we're going to begin our preparation for Arkansas. A lot of different packages in the red zone. What did you see that was just executed for the team that helped you guys focus on? Uh, just being diverse, you know. And we, we, we've always wanted to be diverse. I think personnel-wise, we have the guys that we can do that. You know, uh, David Johnson's going to be a big part of that package. He's been out a week with an ankle, and that's kind of slowed us down a little bit. But he was healthy today, and it showed. He did some great things down there, running and throwing. Uh, we've utilized Mets as a receiver. That'll continue because we think he gives us some juice there. Uh, and guys that have uh, kind of stepped up as playmakers during camp, guys like uh, Jaquan White and Warren Reddix, Cole Freitag, all those guys are making plays today. And uh, Cedric Lang is coming along at a rapid rate. Even even this past week, his growth has been uh, outstanding. So uh, very pleased with the progress we've made on both sides of the ball. Uh, I'm sick about Ish because uh, – you know, he had such an outstanding camp, maybe, maybe as good as anybody on defense. And he's really, the year. he's going to be out for a while, uh, potentially the year. And it's a shame because I love the kid and, and uh, he did such a great job. But next man up, he's got to do as good a job or a better job, and that's our mantra with the whole team. So uh, they'll rally around that. Was that like a de facto uh, test for Mets to see if he could handle not only from a stamina standpoint, from a grass standpoint, quarterback one play? Yeah, he found out running those routes gets you a little bit more tired than drop it back at quarterback. But uh, he's got outstanding speed. He's a great athlete, and, and much like Kavika, we've got to find a way to get him on the field. And uh, he understands the route structure. Uh, he's extremely fast. He's competitive. So uh, you know, you'll see you'll see Mets on the field. You'll see Kavika on the field. Anybody that's an athlete can help us win games. You're going to see him out there. Did the quarterback battle kind of resolve itself with the injury? Well, no. I mean, uh, Garrett should be back Tuesday. Uh, kind of a boneheaded move, celebrating after a touchdown and, and rolled his ankle. That's something I'd probably do in college. But uh, he's uh, he'll bounce back Tuesday. He had a great drive. He's had an excellent camp. Uh, uh, those guys are making my decision hard, which means they are being competitive with each other, which only makes our team better. Uh, if they're neck and neck, that means that we got two good quarterbacks and the other two behind them are going to have a significant role. So I've been very pleased with the quarterbacks throughout the entire camp. And there hasn't been a lot of uh, clock issues, uh, formation issues, turnovers. They've been minimal with these guys. They've kept the interceptions down. They haven't fumbled the ball. Uh, I, I'm proud of those guys as a group, and I feel better about the quarterbacks, the entire group, coming out of camp than I did going into it. Last Sunday, it was flags and drops. This much cleaner today. What do you think happened during the week? Well, we, we emphasize that, and, and just like anything, if you have a bad game or, or you're, you're deficient in one area, then you go back and you work on those things. And from a coaching staff standpoint, we emphasize those things. And uh, you know, again, you're gonna have a bad game. You're gonna make mistakes. Our, our thing is try not to make the same mistakes twice. And I felt that the entire team came out there and did that. Minus the Wildcats, is there any chance of running two quarterbacks? This time? Uh, not two quarterbacks, but uh, we will have two quarterbacks on the field. So there's some things you can do out of that and uh, maybe some things we haven't shown yet. Doing something on the linebackers, is that four spot kind of solidified? Is there maybe one guy to sit out there? You know, again, you know, just like the quarterback competition, the, the, the backup line, Cooper uh, Foster's done an outstanding job. And then you got two young guys that we redshirted last year, and uh, Forrester and Tatum. They've had an outstanding camp. So, again, I feel better about the depth of the linebacker than I did before I went into the camp as well. Did you make uh, some plays today? Yes, I had two touchdowns today. <laughs> What was uh, what was the key to the offense? Um, the key was just being on the same page and uh, everyone just doing their jobs and making sure everybody executed and did everything is to their best ability. Tell whether they could be the Jones to head out there to get the red zone. Oh, Kavika is he's a he's a playmaker. He comes out there. He's a field general, you know, and he's very athletic. So when he comes out there and he just orchestrates everything and tells us what to do, if we do it. I feel the group is coming off. It's going to be a pretty deep group once everybody gets back healthy. Yes, when everybody healthy, like we're gonna we're gonna give people run for their money because every we have so many athletes that it's it's crazy. Uh, 
Uh, last week it was a drop. You guys clean that up. What, what work's put in on the receiving group to kind of improve that and come out here with pretty much a clean day? Came out. Um, post practice and after practice, tennis balls and jug machine. Those were what we emphasized the most. We come out. We have strobes that we put on our eyes and they blink, they flash. We catch, we catch jugs machine, we catch tennis balls with those strobes on. We do it before and after practice and that's just, that just helped us focus in. Did you see the Gary Simpson injury at all? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he kind of hurt himself celebrating. <laughs> he has jumped up in the end zone, you know. 250 pounds, you can't just go straight up and come straight down with that. How you feel about the way the defense played? I felt like we did good today. We were all out there hustling. Everyone was doing a good job. We got a, a couple of things to fix, of course, but we still got a, two weeks till the game. We're going to be prepared. Did you guys uh, come out pretty good that first move the ball segment? I feel like we did. I feel like, uh, of course, we made mistakes, but uh, we're going to fix it. So we're going to be ready for the game. With Ishmael going down, does that uh, put some pressure on you, to all, all you guys, all the safeties? Ishmael, yeah, of course, that's going to be a big effect on the team. He's a great player, an even better athlete. But like Coach Cougar says, it's the next man up. And that's what How's that feel being you know, last year, guys, starting that game, throwing, throwing thrust into the fire in the same team? I feel like mentally you're prepared for the chance that you've had. Yeah, it is, a, it is a big step up. I feel like I'm going to be ready. Coaches are getting me ready. Did you like the way the defense came out? Oh, yeah. yeah we started off with uh, move the ball, and I think we all came out pretty good. No, we didn't let the uh, offense score at all, and uh, the energy was all there today. Talk about the depth you guys have in the linebacker position. How's it grown from week one of camp to now? Oh, you know, it's a lot. You know? it's, it's a hard defense to learn at first, you know, but I think everyone's kind of picking it up, and that's why we're, you know, we have that depth that's coming in. So, you know, we're out there for certain reps, for certain reps and we have you know, three and fours coming in. You know? So that's, that's a good thing to have. Have you seen the mighty ducks before, the really mighty ducks? Uh, I guess so. You, you and Trey kind of remind me of the basketball. Let's talk Bad about look. that chemistry y'all had. Oh, no, it's great. Uh, you know, Trey Brown, he's, he's full of energy. You know, he's out there, and then that motivates me. You know, that's what kind of gets defense going. And I think defense, you know, strives off of energy. So, that you know, was good being out there with him. It's fun. You know, the latter part of the year, you know, really, really turned it on. Yeah. Now you're bringing it here into the ball. Just talk about that momentum that you've grown since, you know, the middle of the season. Uh, it is, you know, it's comfortability, you know, that. And then plus, you know, when you, when you know more, the more you're able to go out there and just play ball, you know. So, uh, I'm not stressed about much you know, anymore. Just going out there and just playing and making plays. I was good, you know. I mean, that's good as competition. You know, there wasn't, you know, becoming a concern, but you know, everyone's out there competing. You have the chip on your shoulder. You're asking for Oh yeah, you know, I, I find that as like, my responsibility to be a leader for the defense. You know, I have the chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm going to help this team get to the conference championship. And